So they're coming to convert our children. The time is now. Welcome to Unified.tv, where truth has no fear. I'm here to unfortunately have to run over the very disgusting, very much disturbing video that hit the internet uh, a few days ago. And the world's getting kinder. Gen Z's gayer than grinder. Learn to love, learn to vogue, face your fate. We'll convert your children. Someone's got to teach them not to hate. I mean, I don't know how much more blatant they can get with this whole thing. Well, the unfortunate part was even more unfortunate is the fact that the awareness, in my opinion, still isn't where it should be. Uh, case in point, we just had a situation in Louisville, uh, I believe it was Louisville, Kentucky, a few days ago, where this guy decided to kidnap this six-year-old girl. Officers catching up with Robbie Wilt minutes after police say he grabbed the girl. Neighbors saw the kidnapping Friday evening and called 911 with a detailed description of the car, including a partial plate. Sergeant Joe Keeling spotted the car just a half mile away and arrested Wilde. Keep walking back. 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 Get on your knees. Get on your knees. Stay right there. Seconds after Wilde was handcuffed, Officer Jason Burba pulled up and rescued the little girl from the front seat. It was all over in about 30 minutes. LMPD credits the quick actions of the officers and the community. Wilde is charged with kidnapping a minor and is in jail on a million-dollar bond. Police say he admitted taking the girl, but said he realized what he did was wrong and was going to take her back. So, I mean, that is a very tumultuous situation. That's a very scary situation. Um, and it, the guy to come out and say, hey, you know, I realized I did something wrong. I was going to bring the girl back. Why did you take her in the first place? And, you know, unfortunately, we don't have all the details of how he was able to get the girl where the parents were at the time. We don't have all the details as of yet. At least I haven't seen it. If you know the details, feel free to comment. Fill me in on how this was able to take place. But the more important thing is, how can we prevent future incidents like this? Um, take a look at this dash cam footage so you can get a stronger grasp of how intense the situation was. Three, four, three, two. So, again, we don't have all the, all the details on how this was, how this went down exactly to the point where he was able to get the girl in his vehicle and take off. That is important, but the most important thing is that this can continue to happen. It does continue to happen every day. And we, we need to do more, unfortunately, because the borders, I'm not sure how much they've secured the border by now, but unfortunately, the border was wide open for a long period of time. So we have the cartel running all over the place. We have trafficked children running all over the place. And who knows how long it's gonna be before we can wrap the situation up. So this is what we need. This is what we need to do, as opposed to looking at this stuff after the fact, and then talking about how we're gonna fix it. We need preventative measures in place now to try to diminish these, these actions and try to you know, keep this from happening to the degree that it's already been happening. And that is exactly why I came up with the Look Up campaign, the hashtag Look Up. And I thank God for uh, Sheena Rodriguez, who's been really, really doing her diligence to, uh, to help me, uh, you know, further this, this movement. The Look Up campaign 
is a human trafficking, child trafficking, child abuse, and uh, yeah, molestation. All the the crimes that happen with children on what scale doesn't matter, but crimes against children, crimes against women, these are uh, things that we need to try to shut down. So what the Look Up campaign is, it's an awareness program. We would make a pitch to people like Victor Avila, just to name someone off the top of my head who I highly respect, but from organizations from uh, the Deliver Fund or Operation Underground Railroad, uh, NCMEC, uh, these organizations get someone to come out and speak, maybe local uh, sheriffs, uh, local senators, governors, to come out and give us a, a much broader spectrum of what's going on when it comes to kidnapping and trafficking. We know what's going on from the media, but is hitting is hitting our neighborhoods at rates that we don't even realize. And so we need to bring more awareness to the situation so we can get people to come out and speak, talk about what they know, give us some statistics and raise a stronger awareness. And we would have the children taught by a, a, a different instructor. And then the parents are taught by a different instructor because we're looking out for different things. The parents will be taught how to recognize grooming tactics, maybe within their own home, maybe when they take their children to their friend's house or maybe a relative's house, uh, maybe when they're in the mall, uh, wherever. So parents have different things to look out for than children do. And then children are also taught by, the, by this other instructor how to pay attention. That's why it's called look up. Keep your head out of your phone and off your tablet and look up when you're going to the mall, when you're getting on and off of your school bus, when you're at a friend's house while their big brother, big sister, aunt or, aunt or uncle is around you pay attention. I'm not saying be paranoid, but you teach the children how to recognize grooming tactics themselves, how to pay attention to their surroundings, and you're teaching parents how to recognize trafficking maybe in their complex, at their workplace, and also how to make sure they're not putting their kids in situations that are dangerous. So we need this. And then the, the parents and children would come back together, and then we have an instructor that would teach everyone. And each side would share what they learned independently, and then we teach both, both groups how to work together to try to combat these things. And um, Sheena, ha Sheena had a great idea where maybe even include some self-defense mechanisms in there. That'd be great too. So we need help furthering this. And um, we, you know, it, it's going to require 501c3 because this is not just a one-time thing. This is something we need to keep going, but it's also going to require funding. So um, we're going to try to raise funds for it. And uh, as soon as I can figure out how to get that organized, we'll, we'll get it going. So if you guys want to be a part of this, it's going to be major. I need people that know how to make T-shirts, coffee mugs, hats, things like that to try to help further this awareness. Because the time is now, it's past due, and these people are, are more bold than ever um, with their songs and the cartoons and just how bold they are when they do physically take the children um, away from the parents. Or, you know, uh, some guy was looking in a child's window a few days ago and the parents hogtied the guy and that's great but what if they weren't what, what if they didn't catch that in time looking through their child's window and so we need to be stronger and more diligent in this and so if you're willing to jump on board with this movement then by all means let's do this let's get it going and um we know it's past due so let's make something happen